Welcome back to the Chasing Lines tutorial using DaVinci Resolve. If you missed part one of this series, be sure to go back and review that first, because we are going to pick up where we left off on that one, starting right now. Let's focus on the window frames this time and create a line that continuously runs around the perimeter of the frame. To start that off, let's move the background and polygon nodes we previously created over to the left. Then select the background node and add a merge to it. This allows us to reuse that soft glow node that we already created for this next set we will build. Next add a background node, and then another polygon mask. Remember to remove the keyframe for this mask in the inspector. With the polygon mask selected, let's add points around the window frame. This time, we will completely connect the masking. Now connect the mask to the background node and then the background node to the merge. You'll notice we now have a filled in black square, which isn't what we are looking for. First, let's fix the mask. Start by heading over to the inspector and unchecking the solid checkbox. Just like we did in part one, let's change the border width of the mask by using the slider on the border width property. Then fine tune the width by holding down your mouse button and dragging to the left or right. Make any adjustments to your mask points to better fit the frame. Then to make this a chasing line, bring down the length using the length property slider. Let's go ahead and change the background color. This time, we will avoid using a gradient and just use a neon blue color. We are now ready to animate. Make sure you are on frame zero to start your animation. Then keyframe the position property. Move forward to frame 90, which with my settings would be about three seconds forward in time. Then change the position property value to one. Move forward again to frame 180 and change the position property value to two. All you would have to do now is repeat your animation pattern until the end of the timeline. Here you can see that the line now rotates around the window frame. Work out all your animations on this window frame first, because next we will copy this to the other frames, and it is much easier to animate something one time and copy it instead of animating six individual window frames. Once you have all your animations applied through the entire timeline for this window frame, we can copy it to the other window frames very easily. On the nodes pane, select the polygon mask for this effect, then copy it using the Control c keyboard shortcut, then paste it using the Control v keyboard shortcut. Connect the new mask to the existing mask. Now we just need to move this chasing line to a new window frame. Click on the polygon mask for our new window frame set, then in the viewer, click with your mouse button and drag until you have selected all four points. Select any corner of the mask, click and hold with your mouse button, and then drag this onto any other window frame. Click anywhere in the viewer pane and then adjust each corner one at a time to fit the new window. We now have two lines that encircle the window frames in tandem. All that's left to do now is to repeat this process for each window frame you want to cover. Before we wrap this up, there's one more chasing line trick I would like to show you. Let's create a line that expands and then shrinks. For this, we will need to start with a merge node and connect that to our existing lines. Again, we will bring down a background node. This time though, we will turn the alpha all the way down to zero and provide a transparent background. Next, we will bring in a paint node. This node has a right on and off property that the mask nodes do not have, which we can have some fun with. Place the paint node in between the background and the merge and then connect them all together. With the paint node selected, choose the polyline stroke from the toolbar at the top. To demo this, I will add four points around the garage door area. Let's change the color of the paint node. I'll use this bright yellow color for now. In order to animate this, make sure you start on frame zero. Then in the inspector, expand the stroke controls. This is where the right slider is located. Bring the end value of this all the way down to zero, then add a keyframe. Move ahead to frame 90 in the timeline, then increase the end value to one by moving the slider all the way to the end, or you can just type the value into the text box. 
Now move ahead to frame 180 in the timeline and increase the begin value to 1. To make this line go in reverse, let's move to frame 270 and change the beginning value back to 0. Then move to frame 360 and change the end value to 0. And there we are, we've created several different chasing line effects we could use for a projection show. I'll turn off all my masking layers so we can see the full, uninterrupted effect. Remember, when you want to use a chasing line, you're not just limited to window frames and house trim for your projection show. You can apply this to either a polygon mask with lines smoothed out, or by using the B-spline mask for a less rigid effect to use in backgrounds, or perhaps surround characters in your show with. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you completed this tutorial, hang on to it, because we will be reusing it in the near future for a tutorial on the keyframes and spline panels in Fusion. So until next time, take care of yourselves.